head out to Wellness about to train chest. I'm gonna give you guys a good uh, chest workout here. You guys can follow along. I'm gonna do a mix of basically more chest, but then we're throwing some a little delt shoulder stuff, like a lot of raises and whatnot. So I'm gonna probably pre-exhaust flies, and then we're heading up to the machine work, and then more flies. That's what we'll do for today. Other ones over there. Uh, the ball. It's like gotta buy water. <laughs> so uh, it is. Um, it's funny because like the show's on Friday, so I'm less than four weeks out now. So I'm only about three and a half weeks by like tomorrow. So crunch time, you know? So we're just gonna grind it out hard, give all we got. Right now it's just self-control. Going to training and stuff isn't difficult. It's training tired, you know, it's being exhausted. I go to the gym and I'm not like, yay, I can't wait to train. I'm like, I'm gonna train for an hour. I'm gonna do my cardio, get my pump, get some good blood flow and then move on. And I pick up my daughter today at about 4 30 then we're gonna go out to eat saving my calories for you know just to eat as a family because you know i did it before like for so many years i've done uh i would literally like not do anything for my birthday i wouldn't do anything for christmas easter if there's a holiday or a special event happening during a show or a prep i wouldn't do it and i missed out on so many things that i didn't have to miss out on and if you just have balance and understand how it works you're good anyway once you guys follow along we're just under four weeks out we're gonna kill and bring it home emphasize a lot more posing you really get after it. So I've only been sitting for like three minutes and like just, uh, yes. Here's Big Taylor here. There you go. That's better. How much time you wanna do? I mean, I keep, I'm gonna keep your fat levels down, buddy. I do post, I'm great. I do both. What are you doing post? 20 minutes post? All right, right, I'm gonna do, uh, I'll do 10 minutes now. I'll get a seven minutes left. Then I'll do 20 after, I'll give me 30. Anyway, let's put it down, I'm gonna focus. The biggest part of training is getting your head right before you start training. It's just as important as actually training. So getting your mind right, going through your sets, your reps, visualizing what you're supposed to do, and then do it. See it before you do it. See it, then do it. All right, let's go. Anyway, when you're pressing, make sure you're Remember your lats, if you watch, my lats are engaged the entire time. So it looks like I'm almost doing a front relax pose the entire time I'm pressing it. That's gonna keep the load on my chest the entire time. And that's the goal. We're not just trying to throw up and down. We're trying to chest the shoulder reduction. Really emphasizing squeezing here. When you squeeze up, you're getting this. My lats are engaged. I'm gonna keep it here if I do this, then right up. So I'm gonna keep it here the entire time. So this machine here, we can really 
dial it in and use that for a little bit of extra momentum for a spot in the end. That's what he last said. Come on. How about? Good. 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 Good machines. It moves your body. It's the uh, hoist rocket line, so you can push the entire body. Well, it moves the body, so it gives you better, better ergonomical activation. So you're not pressing, and your body's going every which way. It folds the body, so it moves with the proper alignment, which is pretty dope. So, down to press here. We're gonna hit a uh, the machine. Same idea. The machine moves with us, so we can hit a little more chest, and then we're gonna do some accessory work after that. So, big guy. So we're gonna hit this guy right here. This is an awesome machine. I haven't been to this gym in a minute. But we got some gems here in the West Coast. And then a prep, I like to go to the places that I can really not even think and just train. So I'm really, really slowing things down. Instead of doing really high reps, I'm basically just like extending my time and attention. So sets really long, the reps are very slow. And I can really focus on just really squeezing you know, the most amount of blood instead of getting a lot of high reps. This is the best way I can kind of really connect right now. How it works is basically you're supposed to sit on it and it pushes with you. I'm going to get over top, over top of it more, hit my chest more by leaning forward. Here, pushing down, get my feet behind. You are now listening to 100 Bullets. Chest up, elbows line, hands in front of the chest, flex the chest, straighten the arms. Alright, that is it. So first exercise we did machine press. You can do any press, kept it incline, and then did another machine press. So that can be like incline or flat, whatever you want. 
I kept my reps around 10 to 15, squeeze went out. Then at the end of those, I added in like one rest pause. So basically, if you fail and you even reach your set goal of reps, and I, like I failed at nine, I rest pause for you know 10 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds, and then I squeeze out four. So you can do that just to kind of like fill in the gaps for the reps you want you didn't finish. Then we went and did machine dips. You do any dip machine, any dip exercise you want. But make sure you're gonna force the load onto your chest. So if you're doing any kind of dips, kind of have a little lean forward. Keep your elbows tucked in nice and tight. And think primarily pressing with your chest and not your triceps. Finishing with the triceps, but really pressing with the chest. And we went over and did cable flies. We did a super set. So we did basically parallel flies with the cables and then bent over 90 degrees in the hips in a true Romanian deadlift, I would say, posture and finish that. So 15 and 15. You know, again, a lot of time under tension. And then finish off with laterals. Dumbbell laterals, you can do any kind of laterals. Dumbbell, seated dumbbell, cable, whatever you want and kept those reps to you know 15 20 reps just to burn them right up because your shoulders are getting a little bit of work anyway so they're already primed and then doing those at the end you just kind of annihilate them a little bit more just to get a little bit extra shoulder emphasis on a chest day so in my ebook i put a really really good plan together a few good push pull leg programs that will give you the absolute best bang for your buck for the most amount of growth all over. So if you're looking at growing all over the place, put on the most amount of muscle, PPL training plan that I'm putting together in the ebook is absolutely amazing. So look for that to come out soon. Anyway guys, so we're four weeks out, a little less than four weeks. If you like the video guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And I'm gonna come with a tell like this transparent valuable truth. We're coaching So if you want to know what my coach is all about, if you're wondering, book a phone consult 15 to 30 minutes. At the end of that consult, if you want to go with training, I deduct the price of the phone consult off any package you pick. Anyway guys, use my code Johnny15 50% off the Power 13 cookbook. Also use my code Johnny for 15% off Fit Army. I'm gonna show you guys a lot more of that that I have at home. So you guys can see what it looks like. Make sure you use that code and uh, make sure you add me on Instagram, underscore John Sheep, underscore. Send me some foodie pics from the recipe book. Send me some of your grilled cheese sandwiches that I made up. Send me some training pics, training clips, whatever it is, guys. Cause you know how it is, Iron Chef's Iron. Progressive overload life. In the meantime, keep doing chasing.